Time now for another edition of Inside the Huddle, brought to you by Westway Ford. I am Matt Berry. This is my co-host, Cowboys linebacker Sean Lee. We are here at the Foundation Room here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Sean, welcome back after a uh, week-long hiatus from the show. Did you get a chance to brush up on your TV? Mm, I had plenty of time. Did had you? a lot of time off, sat by the couch, ate a lot of turkey, a lot of stuffing, relaxed. How much weight did you put on during the holiday? I, I put on a little bit too much weight. I ran it off today at practice, though. Oh, good. So do you guys <laughs> have one of those Thanksgiving Day games like you play each and every year. Then you get the benefit of having a nice weekend off. Is that fun for you guys to kind of just decompress a little bit and watch a little football? It's great. I mean, you put, I think you have uh, two games within four days. So you work hard, you, you try to win those two games, and then you relax. You have a lot of family in town. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays, so it was a blast. You had your family in town with it. What did they uh, get into over Thanksgiving? I had about 14 people in really? town. Really? That so had they, to be annoying. <laughs> it was. You can say I, this. I, it, it was fun. <laughs> I can say that for the most part. But we had a good time. Um, you know, having family in town, you don't get to do it much, being that a lot right. of my family's from up north. So having them in town, watching the game, especially us winning, was a blast. Now you had to get them all tickets, I assume, right? About 14, 15 tickets. Really? And you came through? I came through. What a, what yes. a good son, <laughs> nephew, or whatever. Coming family out of the paycheck. Town. We have a guest tonight. Who did you bring as your guest for tonight? Ron Robinson, the, the, the touchdown machine, the guy who has been playing unbelievable. I'm excited to talk to him tonight. It's his first time on the show. And you know what happens when everyone, someone comes on this show. They go off the next week. It's, I don't know. It's I don't called know Inside he, the Huddle Karma. I don't know if he can go off much more. He's been playing unbelievable. Eight, seven touchdowns within, I mean, what, six, seven games? Six, yeah. He's been killing it, so I'm excited to see him play more. We'll get into his story and much, much more. Time now to go Inside the Huddle. Welcome to Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle is shot live on location at the House of Blues every Monday night. Oh, it is time once again for another edition of Inside the Huddle presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports Net. I am your host, Matt Barry. It is another victory Monday for the Dallas Cowboys. They have reeled off four straight wins, and we are excited to be talking about Cowboys football after a week off. We observed the Thanksgiving holiday, and we are here to talk football. Today's segment, first segment, brought to you by CC Carpet Under Armour. Albert Sins and Social Meds. It is fun as always because, like I said before, it is a victory Monday, and I am joined by my co-host, none other than Cowboys linebacker Sean Lee. Round of applause for Sean Lee. <laughs> Sean, I got to tell you, these uh, these Victory Monday shows are starting to become fun because you guys literally can't lose right now. Well, I think we've played really well. Um, we found a way to win. I said earlier in the year. We kind of gave away a few games, now we're earning them back. You think about it, too. I mean, you're a second-year guy now, and you look at some of these rookies. Tyron Smith is your starting mm -hmm. offensive tackle. DeMarco Murray is your starting running back. Dan Bailey is your guys, who may be a Pro Bowl kicker with how he's yeah. playing. Those are three rookies carrying you guys. As veterans, you can't haze them anymore because they're winning the games. No, they're winning games for us. And what I've been so impressed with those guys is the amount of poise they show. You know, it's a rookie, it's a tough year. It's a different schedule. It's, it's, a, it's a tough transition. But those guys have, have made it uh, seamless. I think a lot of people want to know how overall was your Thanksgiving. I know you guys had the game, and I know you had a bunch of family in town. How was your Thanksgiving? Well, I love the Thanksgiving Day game. It's, it's the best game of the year. Um, the fans are great. It's just the fact playing for the Cowboys on Thanksgiving right. is an unbelievable experience. But it's also great that after the fact, when you're done, you have a few days off to be with your family, to eat a lot of turkey, have a lot of mashed potatoes and stuffing, right. sleep a lot. Do you kill your own turkey? No. You seem like the kind of guy that would, <laughs> you seem like the kind of guy that would I'm kill actually, your own bird. You know, I've wanted to hunt, but I'm kind of, I kind of have a phobia of dead animals. Well, you I eat them like, though, don't you? Yeah, I, like, I mean like actually lying dead. Oh, you're talking like carcass. Yeah, like, like a carcass kill. lying dead okay. on the table. You know, I, you know, I went to Penn State in the middle of, of Pennsylvania, you and I had a bunch of hunting buddies. And they knew this, and they'd bring around dead, dead squirrels and <laughs> set them on my doorstep, freak me out. So you have a fear of dead animals? I don't like dead animals. We talked about the good stories a second ago, Tyron Smith, Dan Bailey, and uh, DeMarco Murray. You're our guest tonight, the guest that you brought in, mm -hmm. could be one of the stories of the NFL this entire season. Yeah, leron has been unbelievable. I mean, seven touchdowns in a short amount of time. Had he been playing the whole year, I can't imagine how, how many touchdowns, how many yards he'd have already. That's a guy who works extremely hard every day. It's a guy that I've tried to look up to 
with how much he takes care of his body. It's a guy who's dealt with injuries in the past, mm -hmm. has bounced around, and, and has really taken advantage of his opportunity here. We'll have to find out if he's scared of dead animals. <laughs> Hopefully not. Maybe that'll be the first <laughs> question we ask him. Well, Ron Robinson, after the break, this is Inside the Huddle, presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports. Had a fun show planned today. We'll have that coming up after the break. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Westway Ford, CC Carpet, and Albertsons. It means a great deal. And we have a big sale. Check this out. You're going to be excited. Wait. Oh, ho, ho. Mm. Zero percent on everything. Everything, zero percent. No, Jack. No. Zero percent on select models. There you go. Wait. Get 0% on every pre-owned and 0% on select new Fords at WestwayFord.com. Just two minutes east of George Bush on 183 at Irving, Las Colinas. Here's the game plan. Save a little cash and show your cowboy spirit. Save 10% on groceries at Albertsons every Cowboys game day when you wear your favorite jersey. Hey, 10% off all your game day favorites. And I know just the jersey to wear. Well, that's a great one. Dad, get out your pink shirt. It's time to decorate for the cure. Well, Morgan, I'm not only getting out my pink shirt, I'm getting my pink smart cushion. So every time you see pink carpet pad, you know there goes another donation for Susan G. Coleman for The Cure. And right now with your purchase and installation of Staymaster Ultra Live Carpet, you get free pink smart cushion. Or you can purchase with any other carpet style. Foot and heel pain can be debilitating. From the moment you wake up, it can feel like you're walking on a bed of nails. If you've experienced burning, numbness, or tingling in your foot, it could be an entrapped nerve. At the Microsurgery Institute of Dallas, we specialize in one of the most advanced nerve decompression procedures available. So you can do the things you like to do and start to walk away from foot pain for good. Call or log on to Microsurgery Institute of Dallas and start to walk away from foot pain today. Book your perfect getaway now. All I know, I know, I know it's better when you're here. Why wait until the last minute to save? Lock in the best pricing right now for the vacation of your choice with Apple Vacations. Turn fantasies into realities in Mexico, including air, hotel, all meals and drinks. For the right advice and best price, ask an agent. Hurry, best dates and hotels are going fast. Get it loud. Coming close. Footsteps don't lie. So the question is, do you hear footsteps? Or are they hearing yours? This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Under Armour. Protect this house with Under Armour. Innovative plumbing mechanical services. And social meds. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports Net, our website, CowboysLive.com. Follow us on Twitter, Cowboys Live 2011. This segment brought to you by HMS IHOP, Huradura, Tequila, and Papa John's. We are excited for another Victory Monday. We tape the show on Mondays. It airs on Sundays on Fox Sports Net. So if you hear a lot of Monday references, uh, that is why. Our guest tonight is probably one of the greatest stories in the NFL this season. He's got 554 yards receiving. Mm -hmm. He leads the Cowboys in touchdowns, receptions with seven. And oh, by the way, he only had four his entire career coming into this year. He's already almost doubled that output. So we're looking forward to that. Put your hands together for Cowboys wide receiver, LaRon Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> See, LaRon, little did you know, once you become a part of the Dallas Cowboys phenomenon, you get your own TV show like this. I mean, look at Sean. He's got his own TV show. There's people screaming for you. How do you feel about that? Man, this is crazy, man. I feel like uh, 
playing on America's team, playing like like I'm in the L.A. Lakers or something. This is it's unbelievable. I'm loving it. Wait, is it funny when you take a step back? Because I'd imagine you have a couple times during the day or maybe throughout the week when you're not doing football. Let's say on your days off on Tuesdays. Do you ever allow yourself to take a step back and say, wait a second, this has been a pretty wild ride so far this year? No, I actually haven't even thought about it. You know, I'm, not, I'm trying to just stay focused on, on the task at hand, you know, just making plays, getting better every day in practice and uh, continuing to take care of my body so I can stay healthy and be on the field. That's a big thing I see about him is you, you've dealt with injuries before, a couple in the past that have obviously hindered you, and he takes care of his body better than anybody else I've ever seen. He's always in the training room. He's always doing something. So that's what, what I look up to him because I've dealt with injuries, uh -huh. and I've tried to talk to him and say, what do you do to take care of your body? to play so well, and that's what I've been trying to use some of advice for, advice for me. And is it, it, getting your chemistry down with Tony Romo, a lot of people make a big deal about quarterback receiver chemistry. How did that go for you? Um, I don't know. Just since day one, since our first day here, you know, we just had a kind of connection. I called it a little one double A connection because he went to Eastern <laughs> Illinois. I went to Illinois State. Yeah. We were rivals, you know. Oh, really? We, yeah, we didn't play each other, but okay. our schools were rivals. And uh, I guess I, my first day meeting him, you know, I told him about my school and stuff. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember playing them a couple of times. And uh, just from there, I just, we've been on the same page, and it's been great. Maybe that's the secret with Miles, too. He went to Monmouth. Yeah, yeah. You big school guys are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys are snobs. You're little, overrated. Little, little school guys collaborating. They, uh, they're a part of football. They are injuries. Time now to go to our microsurgery injury report. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Westway Ford. Home Marketing Services. HMS is your one-stop shop for all of your real estate and mortgage needs. And IHOP. Time now for a Microsurgery Institute injury report. Sean Lee back to talk some injuries. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want the club update. How's the club? You going to be wearing the club again on Sunday? I, I'm not positive. I've been working to try to get the club off. Uh -huh. um, but I feel like I'm gonna be getting better with it, and I'm still gonna try to protect this hand. If it's not ready, I'll wear the club, but I'm, I'm confident with it. Did you punch any dolphins with it pretty hard? Or punched no? a few dolphins with it. I tried Did to you? punch Reggie Bush. I think I got him pretty good the one time. You should punch him for that. <laughs> if there was one guy in the dolphins I'd punch, it'd probably be him. Well, I gotta give him a lot of respect because he played really hard. He's a tough guy to play against, but. I thought our defense did a good job containing him. You're too politically, politically <laughs> correct. How is the wrist, though? For it's getting a lot better. Yeah. I mean, it's every week, every day. The trainers have done a great job. It's getting a lot better. And hopefully, at some point, I'll be able to take off that big club. Now, big news on Monday at practice going into the Sunday game. I know Mike Jenkins was out there. He said mm -hmm. he feels good going north-south. It's that lateral speed he's going to have to watch. It'll be interesting to see what happens with him. And, of course, Tony Fiametta, the fullback, he's mm -hmm. been missed offensively. Those are guys that are injured that you'd like to have back, especially going into the stretch run. Well, I know how, how hard Mike Jenkins has been working to get back. He's been frustrated being out, and that's a guy we, we really can use, a guy who's a great shutdown corner. Um, you know, when Tony, Tony's another tough guy, I think who's done, been a big reason why DeMarco has been running so well is that's a guy who's been blocking great. So both having both those guys back can really help us. That is the injury report brought to you by Microsurgery Institute. We're back on Inside the Huddle after the break. for Dallas Cowboys cornerback Allen Ball. Running back to Shard Choice and cornerback Orlando Skandrick requires strength, preparation, vision, and focus. But it no longer requires contact lenses. At least not anymore. Thanks to eye LASIK by Dr. Harvey Carter, official eye surgeon of your Dallas Cowboys. Call to be a part of the Carter Cowboys LASIK celebration. Thank you, Dr. Carter. Something in the pocket. Banana. Side pocket. Apple. Pocket. Strawberries. Fruit pocket pancakes at IHOP. Our famous buttermilk pancakes bursting with the fruit fillings you love starting at $3.99. IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. People talk about how hard it is to get a house and all the trouble you have to go through. You don't have to go through all that trouble if you're talking with the right people. People always say it's who you know. Well, HMS is the people you need to talk to, and that's who you need to know because they've taken care of us. We called, we came in for the evaluation that same day. They were like, you qualify for this much, you can get a house. And we were calling everybody. We knew at that point, like, we're going to get a house. Get out of the rent race, call HMS. Touchdown, Cowboys. Yeah. We'll be right back. Oh. This season, the Papa John's Cowboys Unlimited Combo is back. 
And at $10.99 for a large Papa John's pizza with unlimited toppings and a Pepsi 2 liter, it's a dream. With the Cowboys Unlimited Combo, you can get your Papa John's pizza however you want it. It's the perfect combination of hot, fresh Papa John's pizza, ice cold Pepsi, and Dallas Cowboys football. Order yours online for just $10.99. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Heradura Tequila. And Lifestyle Technologies, your solution for integrated electronics in the home and office. We are back on Inside the Huddle, presented by our friends at Westway Ford. This is Fox Sports Net. We are at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas, where we do the show each and every Monday. And by the way, book your holiday party at House of Blues today. Spaces and dates are still available for December, but are going fast. Call Ashton at 214-978-4826. Have a holiday fun party here at House of Blues. This segment brought to you by Carter Eyes Care Center, 7-Eleven, Pepsi, IPMS, and Lifestyle Technologies. This is my co-host Sean Lee. This is our guest, Laron Robinson. He leads the Cowboys with seven touchdown receptions. Laron, I know you were here during the taping of the first segments. Um, Sean Lee is scared of dead animals. Did you hear about that? <laughs> yeah, I, I briefly heard him in the background. He's not as tough now as you thought he was, is no. he? Yeah, it's a little, a little awkward, but uh, I don't know. Everybody got their own little phobias there. And did you, did you know? Why Sean Lee is scared of dead animals? He actually has a story about this. Uh, I heard a little bit. Let me hear we the story, We were talking Sean. a little bit yeah. about it. I had a buddy in high school that we, we kept putting grass on his car. I mean, we'd cover his, his car, entire car with grass. We did it about three times. He said, I'm going to get you. If you keep doing this, I'm going to get you back. So I thought maybe he would put grass, put mud on my car, on my truck at the time. He ends up finding a deer, a dead deer on the side of the road, cutting the head off and putting it in the back of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> and I had, I had one of those tonneau covers, or, you know, the covers for the right. back of it. And so I end up just going to put my bag, my football, my pads in the back of it, open it, dead deer right there. Blood pouring out of the neck. I mean, just gross. Oh, wow. Sitting there. <laughs> oh, wow. And so from that point on, I, I, I hate dead animals. By the way, enjoy your dinner out there. If you guys are <laughs> food. I hope you guys are enjoying everything that's going on. So that was the moments where dead animals were to forget about it. I said, anytime now, if I see a dead animal, I get a little queasy. And I can't handle it. Uh, we're having a Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, 3 tournament coming up December 19th. I hear rumors that you're good at that. Um, you know, <laughs> the thing is, I, I waited a week to get the game. You know, I wanted everybody to get better than me. You know what I'm saying? I wanted everybody to have a week ahead of me to prepare and practice. And now I'm finally getting into it after they had that, that time ahead of me. So I'm... I'm starting off a little slow. It's a little different right now, but I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. Would you classify yourself as a video game nerd? Nerd? No. I'm a gamer. This, oh, this, that's another word. This is what I do. That's <laughs> another word for nerd. I am a gamer. Another that's kind of what nerd. I do. If I wasn't playing football, I'd be a pro gamer. It's crazy. Really? What, what do you, what's your best game that you right game now? at? Yeah. Right now, my, I can't get beaten 2K12. I got a challenger yeah. out there right now. I play, with, I play with the Thunder, just to let everybody know if you guys want to challenge me. Do you get into that FIFA? You get FIFA? Into, you get into FIFA? All day. Really? All, every game, like all, except for Madden. You don't you do know, Madden? No, we do too much football every day and right. watching film. I can't do Madden. So you're a gamer. Absolutely. We're, we're not leaving this topic. We have to go to the <laughs> Anyway, the final segment. This is Inside the Huddle presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports out of the House of Blues. We'll turn the interview in over to Sean Lee when we get back. I want to find out more about him being a gamer and – I guess he called himself unbeatable. <laughs> we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that after the break. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Westway Ford, Apple Vacations, Dymaco, Pepsi Max, the official soft drink of the Dallas Cowboys, and your local 7-Eleven store. Keith, you know when you've made it? No. You've made it. Once you get your own action figure. Check this out. What do you think? Impressive? Where's your action figure? That's not an action figure. Sure it is. No, that's a bobblehead. And anyone can have a bobblehead. Anyone doesn't have one now. Drive up to 790 miles on a single tank and get 7,000 in rebates on any F-Series truck at WestwayFord.com. Two minutes east of George Bush on 183 at Irving, Las Colinas. 
You know my Jason, when he really wants something bad enough, there's no point in trying to stop him. So when he wants a great steak, I go straight to Albertsons, because I know that they only sell the best USDA choice beef. Always tender, always full of flavor. That's what Jason wants every time. And believe me, you wouldn't want to get in his way. Now that's choice. And it's only choice beef at Albertsons. Albertsons, it means a great deal. Dad, get out your pink shirt. It's time to decorate for the cure. Well, Morgan, I'm not only getting out my pink shirt, I'm getting my pink smart cushion. So every time you see pink carpet pad, you know there goes another donation for Susan G. Coleman for the cure. And right now with your purchase and installation of Staymaster Ultra Life carpet, you get free pink smart cushion. Or you can purchase with any other carpet style. Foot and heel pain can be debilitating. From the moment you wake up, it can feel like you're walking on a bed of nails. If you've experienced burning, numbness, or tingling in your foot, it could be an entrapped nerve. At the Microsurgery Institute of Dallas, we specialize in one of the most advanced nerve decompression procedures available. So you can do the things you like to do and start to walk away from foot pain for good. Call or log on to Microsurgery Institute of Dallas and start to walk away from foot pain today. Book your perfect getaway now. All I know, I know, I know it's better when you're here. Why wait until the last minute to save? Lock in the best pricing right now for the vacation of your choice with Apple Vacations. Turn fantasies into realities in Mexico, including air, hotel, all meals and drinks. For the right advice and best price, ask an agent. Hurry, best dates and hotels are going fast. Get it loud. Coming closer. Footsteps don't lie. So the question is, do you hear footsteps? Or are they hearing yours? This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Gillespie Jewelers, Champion Limousines, and Replicopy. We're back on Inside the Huddle on Fox Sports Net, presented by our friends at Westway Ford. We are at the House of Blues here in downtown Dallas. This segment brought to you by Dymaco, Gillespie Jewelers, Apple Vacations, now Jade Hotel and Resort, and Champion Limos. We were talking about the uh, Modern Warfare Call of Duty tournament we've got. You can sign up for that on the website, CowboysLive.com. You could follow us on Twitter, Cowboys Live 2011. My co-host is Sean Lee, our guest, wide receiver Leron Robinson. Uh, we found out a lot about Leron and Sean tonight. A brief recap if you're just joining the program. Sean's scared of dead animals. Leron Robinson's an unbeatable gamer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only part of the show you need to watch. That was the entire recap. Uh, turning it over to Sean Lee now for the interview segment. Uh, Sean did some research during the commercial break, and he's got some hard hitters tonight. So be careful. He's coming for you. You, you say you're a gamer now. Now, what was your favorite game growing up? Growing up? You know, it started off with Atari. You know, which I, all y'all gamers out there, which I know about Atari. Yeah, yeah bringing it back. <laughs> But um, growing up in middle school and high school, my parents didn't let us have video games in the house, so we weren't allowed to play. So I'd always have to go to my friend's house to play a game. or That's why I get so addicted to it growing up and getting out of their house. I get to play it whenever I want. But um, growing up, I'd probably say Tech Mobile. You yeah, know, that's a good one. That, no, Super Tech Mobile is a winner. <laughs> super, whatever. It's all the same. I used to have this one play, and you can go back and check the records. 352 seam. You cannot stop the play. Uh, what's the guy's name? Rhett. Andre Rhett? Dre, what was his name? Rhett? Andre Risen? Nah. Uh, Eric Rhett. Eric Rhett. Rhett. There, we go. Eric there, we go. Rhett. there it is. Yeah, killing it. Well done. What kind of world do we live in when Eric, Eric Rhett is unstoppable? I guess in the gamer world. Was yeah, Eric the gamer Rhett. world. He was unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, for me, it was Mario. I mean, just the regular Mario. That was the first game I played. But Mario, like good. Super Mario no, Brothers? The, the, the original Super Mario. Not, not the second one, but the first one. And I don't know if you played that with yeah, Bowser. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then, the, then the third one was my favorite with the whistles. 
Did you ever yeah, talk? yeah. <laughs> the whistles, you know what I'm talking about? The whistles that you could you could warp to about yeah warp. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Mario was my favorite by far, and still even growing up, that was probably the main game I played, other than Guitar Hero. That's the other game I played in college. Got you. That one got addicting quick. Guitar Hero. Yeah, yeah. I, n- I well, never I got fil- into I that. I failed one. accounting because of Guitar Hero. Did you really? Yeah. I took <laughs> I took accounting at night, and I uh, instead of going to study hall or accounting, I would go back to my room and play a little Guitar Hero. It's addicting. I got caught got caught up with it. So you, <laughs> it's like you got <laughs> caught up with a drug habit. So you, just, <laughs> how how long would you play? I mean, you know, it's like any other game. That when you get caught up, I play three, four hours at a time. And the hours go by so fast. I mean, it's like what? Yeah, you don't even realize, especially in college. What does yeah, your yeah, wife so say about the video game playing? Yeah, she over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she she accepts it sometimes, but you know, sometimes I can't play all day. Have you told anyone about your gaming addiction on the couch? Is there someone else that's as addicted as you? Uh, I'm not sure. I know I, I challenge some players. I challenge Dez like every other day, and you don't know what you're gonna get with Dez. So <laughs> I don't know. I, he, I guess he's scared to play me, and Ogletree's scared, and uh, I don't know. I've been so waiting. Have, I've been you waiting. Lost? Have you lost? Nobody. They won't even play me. They already so know I'm on a whole you. other level. Yeah. There's, there's, there's and what's that? Just in 2K12? Whatever. A- anything? Okay. Yeah. Whatever it is. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I've learned. Way more than I thought I would from you guys tonight <laughs> about your about your addiction. The Arizona Cardinals coming up on Sunday. Real quick, you're out of uh, division this week. Just talk about the Arizona game. Well, it's obviously going to be very tough. That's a team that won last week. Um, Beanie Wells is a great running back. Ha- played him against uh, played him at Ohio State. Played him last year. It's a guy who's quick, fast, and very big and strong. We're going to have to stop him if we want to play well. Um, you know, we, we're excited about the opportunity. You know, we got to be 1-0 this week, play with urgency, you know, go out there and have fun, play together. And, uh, you know, they got, a great, they got a good defense, you know, a great punt returner in Peterson. You know, we got to mm-hmm. be smart with our directional punts this week. And um, we just got to play hard and find a way to pull out another W. Well, good luck yeah. to the both of you guys trying to win the, run the winning streak up to five games. That puts you guys at 8-4 and four for the season, a really good record uh, going into the month of December. Here's LeRon Robinson and Sean Lee. Appreciate your guys' time. Tonight, as always, LeRon leading the team with seven touchdown passes. Our thanks to Sports Media Group, Ray Salinas, Ted Nichols, paying everyone involved with the program. The website, again, CowboysLive.com. Follow us on Twitter, CowboysLive2011. And don't forget when you're on CowboysLive.com to sign up for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Tournament. And I'm imagining that he'll be involved in some way, shape, or form. That's another yes, edition sir. of Inside the Huddle presented by Westway Ford. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you right here next week on Fox Sports Net. Inside the Huddle is sponsored by Carter Eye Center, HMS, Papa John's, Westway Ford, Albertsons, Lifestyle Technologies, the Microsurgery Institute, Under Armour, CC Carpet, Pepsi Max, and your local 7-Eleven store. Inside the Huddle is a production of Sports Media. Video production by Gridiron Films.